are in the final season with Barcelona season 5. And what are we doing in season 5? Well, we're looking to win the treble. As well as, I mean, I didn't recap because we only made 4 million in sales. So 163 million is what we need. 163 million profit. But we also need a striker. Or two, rather. One to play, one to back up. So we need two strikers. We need to make 163 million. This would have been easier if Griezmann decided not to retire at the age of 32. Buffon is probably still playing at the age of 59 or something. I don't know how old Buffon is. He's pro okay, fine. 45, I'm guessing. And he's probably still, he probably would still be playing. But enough about that. We'll make do with what we what we've got. So priority number one, Mark Andre Ter Stegen. If I don't sell him, I will put him in a swap deal with Messi Regen Lin Lineras. Number two, I'm thinking I can sell Klosterman because I've got a ready-made backup uh, right there in Dest. So he can take over from Klosterman and then I've got like a few youngsters who can back up him. There, Granero can back him up. So either I'll sell Klosterman or I'll sell Upamecano or Longley, probably Upamecano because I've got Tadebo here and I've got Garcia on the reserves and Arojo. So I would have four. I'm not selling Furpo because I've got Miranda behind him and Akiemi and they are not good enough. Miranda is a bit iffy and Akiemi I've not played with him so I'm not <laughs> not taking that chance. Coutinho, De Jong, Puig, Alenia. I'm not really looking, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing with De Jong and Coutinho so I'm not looking to sell them. And Dede has just been immense since coming in. So why why would I sign up, sell them? Trincao and Fati. I mean, what more can I say? Look at their ratings. 95, 89. They've been superb. Like, seriously. Probably, like, Trincao's message replacement. It has been message replacement, man. Like, seriously. He has replaced Messi very well. And not just in terms of skill on the pitch. Stats. The stats. He's probably up there with Messi's numbers in real life. Okay, maybe not, but still. And Griezmann was very good, but now I no longer have him. Uh, let's see, what's... What age are they? Fatih is 21, and he's 89 rated. 24 years old Trin Cow is, and he's the same rating Ronaldo probably was at that age. Actually, probably better. These two are irreplaceable. So, we're not replacing either of those two. Coutinho can't replace him anyway. He's retiring end of season. And De Jong, 27. Wow, he's 27. Uh, is brilliant. Uh, where are you? And Didi, 27 as well. Just being immense. So, I'm thinking Klosterman can be replaced by Dest, who we already have, so we don't have to spend money on his replacement, and then Granero can back up Dest, so we don't have to spend money on Dest's replacement. Tadebo can be Upamecano's replacement, Garcia will be Tadebo's, and then we've got Arojo there, we've also got Riyad as well, and Hurtado and Aguilar can also back up. So we've got plenty of cover. Left back, I think either one of these two will be sold. Akiemi or Miranda and goalkeeper. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to stay getting sold. Neto is staying to back up Onana. Peña can probably go and actually Guardado is... 
I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But that's what the plan is to sell to Stegen and Klosterman. Maybe a mechanic. I'm really enjoying him though. But maybe I can sell him because Tadebo has just been immense when coming in to replace him. So I can maybe sell Upa Meccano. But first, let's sell. Let's hope we get offers in for them. So let's go forward to see who the first offer is we get for any of them. Or something. But at the end of July, not received a single offer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in for Linares. I'm just going to go in for him. And try something. Wow, well, did Dan Chow get a haircut or something? Right. Take Tostegan. Simple swap. Tostegan for him. No! Remove the selling clause. Remove that player. And just. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's the end of June. And. We've still not received a single offer for any of our players. So I'm just going to go in for this guy, message region, and just offer Trust Egan for him. Let's see what they say. They accept! That's nice. Now, just the wages. We're getting rid of Trust Egan. Finally, no longer want him in this club. And here we are, squad roll. Rotation? How do you say to that? Important? Okay, I can I can deal with that. He's probably gonna he's gonna be crucial because he'll be the starting striker. Five years? Because I'm gonna train him to be a centre forward and then he's gonna start. Wages. What I usually do is just just a bit more than or just around what they have and then just put a million on the bonus. And Okay, you want 10 appearances? Not to the 10 appearances. You'll probably want about 80, won't you? So there. 80. There we go. Andrew signed Messi's region. He's not going to get the number 10 shot though because Coutinho's done way too good to just be dislodged of that. So, haphazardly. But, we are going to give him... Let's see, I think maybe the number 9 shirt. Let's see, what is he? Now we're going to give him the first number of the captain, number 19. The number 19 shirt he'll get. That's his Messi's first number when he was at Barca. And why'd I come out of that? I need to go back in. There it is. And development plan. Position. Position. And down we go. Centre forward. Two weeks. Easy stuff. Train him to be centre forward so that's his natural position. So. Now we just need offers to come in so that we can get Sanabria from Sheffield United. So let's hopefully have some offers for him and get to that point. For Klosterman, and it's from Real Madrid, probably the only team that would pay for him. We have to do it to get money so that we can make back all the money from Barcelona. Now this is more than enough. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be greedy here. Three hundred million. Yep, three hundred million. So we'll be getting the money from Klosterman. So we can sign Sanabria. That's the only sale we need to make. Um Yes, and then we can get Sanabria. We'll have more than enough money. I just wish it wasn't to Real Madrid, but hey ho. Now we've got the Super Cup coming up, so we'll head over to that after the sale of Klosterman. Time, and Klosterman has been sold, so we have made 
back all of the money that Barcelona has spent, more than enough, and we just need one signing to complete this transfer window for me. We just need one signing, and that signing is Sanabria. We no longer need Martinez. Sanabria just he's not even here to to be a starter. He's just to be a backup. Put in 30 million off, or hopefully that's more than enough. See, I don't know the prices now. Okay, 30 is enough. I think it's probably a bit much, but I don't know the prices now because they're all over the place. So he's getting a 30 million pound uh, rotation. Yep, you're you're definitely going to be a rotation player. Look at our transfer budget, over 1 million. You're not even going to. Oh, why did I do two years? He's only, I'm only doing one more thing. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's all fine. Right. So we have completed the squad. We have a complete squad in front of us. So now I'm just going to rearrange some numbers, some kit numbers. Onana is going to be up to number one because Tostegan is there, so now we can occupy that shot. Akiemi will be 33. Miranda is going to be 23. Those two are fine. He's good enough. Good enough. They're all fine. Brunero will be 22, replacing Reyes, who's 22. Right, indeed he's fine. You're fine, you're fine. Fine, 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 fine. Well, actually, you're probably no longer going to be seven. Um, yeah, that's all good. Good, good, good. Because... Fernandez isn't going to be seven. Fatih is going to be seven. Fine, 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 fine. And yes, Nabra can be that number. Did you? Can I change your position now? Nope, we've got one week left. Okay, that's fine. Right. Well, we are at the Super Cup against Atletico Madrid. So let's head right into it and get our first trophy of the new season. Oh, it's because Coutinho. Um, let's get our first trophy of the new season underway. Let's get right into this match against Atletico. Cup game against Atletico. Let's get right into them. Kick off. And here's Linares running through here. One on one with Jano and Black. He might be in here. Strikes it. And Jano Black makes a save and keeps the score. Keeps Atletico and it's there for level. Him. And here's well, Linares again, just at the edge of the box, finessing it round, round Martins, to the far post, just inches wide of the target there. And now Linares, another chance here for him, through pass to him, and Oblak's came away with his goal, so he thought he'd have a go, and he's hit it just wide again. But he's very energetic. And there uh, you see the number 8 Champions League trophy on the side of the And here's Coutinho with it and tries chipping it over Jan Black, And he does, but he chips it over the bar as well. And now here's Trincao on the right hand side. And Trincao, he and cuts inside away from Lodi. And finishes it round to the far corner. Doing what he's been so doing since he's replaced Messi. In scoring oh, goals. And here. Linares running through one on one with and Oblak. And Barcelona. he smashes it home to make it two. Charge. Brilliant stuff. And now here's Trincao to make it three, perhaps? He's in with a chance. Yeah, no Black saves. Oblak making another save for Athletico. Can we keep his composure? And here's Yao Felix Surely. running through. And Rabonin, Rabonin, no, not finished yet. And then chips it like, got, got to admit, that was a sensational finish. But the game ends 2 1, we win, roll on the trophy celebrations. We lift the Super Cup trophy. 
Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how Brilliant much money stuff. you put in the bank, players will always look trophy back at moments one, or like these. Trophy number one, or team number two, we won pre-season trophy, trophy, but trophies up, win medals. Absolutely trophy number one of the season. Coutinho is the new captain, yep, replacing Boston in his captain. To this tight -knit team. And we're hey! Real Yay! We won the trophy! Bang! Get in! Full time! With the win! Roll on the rest of the season! And I thought I'd get right into it, start from the first game. And here we are. Home to Hitafe. I think the usual lineup. Let's head right into it. It's for this first game of La Liga season against Hetafe. Let's see how we get on. Here's Trincao on the right hand side. Strikes, saved, oh, but it falls right back to him again. And, and it's 1 0 Barca. Here. Brilliant stuff. Linares on the edge of the box. Goes for a strike, but Jolinton blocks and it goes over his head. Well, he's, he's small, so a lot of stuff is going to go over his head. And he gets it again. Able to close down the shot. This is a very long highlight. He passes to Coutinho. He passes it back to him. No, he doesn't. He gives it to Trincao. He passes it into Linares. Great one-touch football there from Barca. And then Linares... All that just for it to be blocked and hit out for a for a corner. That was a nothing that, positive comes of it, unfortunately. That was worthy of a fucking highlight. So it's going to be a goal. Right, kick here. Makes a tackle. At least that's fucking something. And now Coutinho De Jong, to De Jong in with a and Trinco. And the Turn out. It's in. Well, the goal will not stand. No, it's it not. is offside. Just a bit yeah, offside. good football there, but just straight offside. He's just offside, man. Oh, and that's full time. Literally, that was all I had. This was worthy of a king highlight. Like, seriously. Takes a touch, block, Able to close and then down goes the shot. Continue. Intelligent threaded pass here. And then that is, and then Nothing it gets positive. Like, that was worthy of a fucking highlight. Jesus Christ. Right, well, that's the first game of La Liga season over with. Let's head on over to the next one. This season, home to... No, wait. Yes, I was right. Home to Sporting Gijon. Um. Yeah, I know I'm picking some random teams here. It's to get... Make sure I get everyone. I still want to get the main two teams in. But everyone else, I can just, just go around. The business, doing, doing the business as the usual. And why is Morientes... Up front. Sanabria. He's a backup striker for a reason. And uh, bring in Puig. If Coutinho's not playing. Why well, they're both suspended. And not a national duty for them both. What? Why? We're, we're in August. Ah, whatever. Let's get right into this game at home to Sporting Hee Third game of La Liga season. Against Sporting Hijo, uh, the new camp or El Libertador. Let's get into it. Here's uh, them, them moving through. And the Frodes turns longly and strikes it at the goal to, to make it 1 0. So the match is restarted. Brilliant. Fati. And here we Might go. Be a chance here. Sanabria and Jafati. One on one. Fati equalising. Big man. Big thing. And here's Puig Can and Trincao up against the man. And, and Puig 2 1. We've turned it around. And that's the full time score we win 2 1. What it doesn't show you is indeed he got a red card for a missed time tackle. He just missed the guy and he gets a red. A fucking red. Like, he was just a bit late to the guy. And it's a red, it's never a fucking red, it should have been a yellow. But we got a red, but we still managed to turn it around. We got the red when we were 1-0 down, but we still turned it around, 1-1. One one. Get it up, you sporting hee -ho, and let's get to the next game. And there's nothing I really need to do. 
I mean, we don't need to sell any anybody. And with the players we signed, we wanted, we want, we signed the players we wanted to, and sold the one player that we didn't really want to, but we needed to, since Terstegen would never sell. Oh, here we go. We've got an offer for Miranda. Nah, I'm just gonna keep him. No point selling him. We don't need anything. Okay, what? Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine 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 nine. I spent thirty million on him on Sanabria. And uh, we also made three hundred from Clusterman. Nine twenty nine 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 nine. And Puig, well, he's he's our backup centre mid, so no, he's not going to be sold. Sorry, Chelsea. And transfer deadline day has ended, and over a billion spent, a billion, and we got a oh, loan offer there for Garcia. Anyway, let's head over to our next match, and we'll have no more transfers in this episode at least. A Liga season up against Atletico in 5th and uh, we're joint top with Real Sociedad with 4 wins out of 4 and there's the lineup, the usual lineup. yeah I'm not fussed on changing it, everyone's brilliant let's head right into this game and beat Atletico again against Atletico let's see how we do, let's get right into this game and Trincao passes and that over to here. Andrew Fatih and, and he's one on one with Jan Oblak and he and does his thing best. He does what he does best. Makes it one now. Fatih on the left hand side again cutting forward, passing back and Linares 2 now. Sure and Linares running forward again, strikes, save and, and it falls right to the young. Asking, the and it's 3 now. 3 now here against Athleti. Very good, Upamecano. very good stuff. Upamecano, Linares takes a touch. It a and it's 4. It's 4. We are smashing Atletico. After many games of being very tight game, tight oh, affairs. And Linares. And that's the hat trick. Hat trick hero. Five now. Again, After so many games of just being frustrated it. by Atletico and not winning, we smashed them. Header there from Milinkovic Savic, and it goes wide. Still five now. I mean, come on, come on, come on! Played in. Too good, too good. Oh, showing excellent and here's vision. Mijeho, Couldn't straight save from Onana, and he. Goes for oh, a backwards head off the, the <laughs> top of his bald head, <laughs> and it's five. A one. Glut of goals. Five one. We concede one, but we've just been we were very good, too good, too good for Atletico Madrid. Let's head over to our next game. Away, and there's the lineup. You know ours by now, off by heart. If you don't, what have you been watching? Come on. Um. Simple stuff, let's head right into this game against Celta Vigo. To Celta Vigo, let's get right into them. The game kicks off. <laughs> and here's Coutinho, and here's Frankie de Jong. Great position strike, set. Wide, very wide, very, very wide, very wide. Very bad, very wide, and it's not that good at all. And here's Linares, running through, oh, just got the keeper to beat. And he smashes it into the corner. One now, Barca getting beautiful stuff. And the young through pass, and Linares, and he's gone for goal number two, number two. And Coutinho, no Trincao rather. Potential danger. Trincao, Linares, and Fatih. Three now. Brilliant stuff from the lads. And there it is! Three goals Free kick here. Now. And oh, Billing. Philip Billing. He's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's missed time more than Billing anything there. Just missed time. He's tackled. 
who's a very bad shot. Can he keep his and here's Trinko running through. Surely. Gives it across and hat trick hero Linares. Well, he's tearing this That's defense two apart. games in a row where he's got a hat trick, man. He's good looking he is like Messi. And here's Trinko across goal. and there's Fatih. Really being spoiled. And this it's five. <laughs> it's five nil away to Celta Vigo. Five nil. Brilliant stuff. Fatih. And in with a real chance. And now he gives Trinko a little chance to score himself and makes a six. Trinko, after getting two assists that I know of, that I remember, he gets his own. Nice stuff. And six now. And here's Linares he going through and, and Linares. A goal to get the blood flowing. Just he what he wanted. gets a fourth today. He is just on fire. He's another and level space for him to cut in. And Fatih Sanabria's been brought oh, on to give Linares a rest. An and even he no, gets on here. the score sheet, making it eight. Well, no. if there were any a way to Celta Vigo. And Elenia will also dominate, so surely Elenia is going to make it another one. Nine. Nope. And the keeper Dragowski to, decides he wants to make a save today. He wants to make at least one save today. <laughs> but, I mean... Look at that, 8 0. No. Domination. Let's head on over to whatever the next match is after that one, man. And we've got a group of Hoffenheim and Slava Praha. So we're going to play the two games against Inter. So here's the first one at the new camp. Dest has picked up a four week injury. So Granero is going to start playing it right back instead of him. The rest of the squad's the usual. Let's head right into this one against Inter. Game we play this season against Inter. Let's get right into these highlights. Eriksen with a free kick struck right off the post. Moving the woodwork there and then falls to Limer, I think, who just skies that one. But off the woodwork for Eriksen from the free kick. Almost 1-0 Inter. Oh, now Coutinho, Linares Coutinho. running through and strikes. And it's a save there from Pacheco for Inter. And now Hakimi, Lotaro Martinez, completely just Upper Meccano and it's 1-0 into Milan. And, 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 and Eriksen steps up for the free kick. Over the wall, off the bar and in. Nothing on Anna can do about that. And now Eriksen has a chance to make it three here. But he hits it just wide. Score still 2-0. Enter. Ericsson! And now great pass well, movement there. And Giovanni or Giovanni. 3-0. Enter Milan. Got away to Barca. And that's the full time score with his 3-0 to enter. I would like to see... What was that? No goal? Thing. The end product just wasn't there. Can okay, through. Take chips over on Anna and Dindidi just clears it. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Anyway, uh, ra, 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 ra. we lost 3 now. I was going to say something, I forgot what it was. We got we got a red card early on in the game with Longley, but that's not. Oh, yeah, during the game, it said, I have 200 career wins at Barcelona. 200 career wins. Brilliant stuff. And then we'll, to celebrate that, we lose 3 0 turns. Uh, you've good games, you've bad games. We've had a lot of good games. Well, we were due a bad game. Anyway, let's head over to. The next one, which is either El Clasico or another Champions League game. Cool. No, first El Clasico of El Season. And it's uh, in the Santiago Bernabeu. So last time we had Atletico Madrid, we smashed them. Hopefully we can do the same here against Real Madrid. And utterly smash them and kick the living shit at them. Or just beat them. That, that works as well. Let's get right into it. For El Clasico, first El Clasico of the season. At El Santiago Bernabeu, 
Can and he here we are, Trent Cowron and through and passing across. And the Maris makes it 1 now. Brilliant start. So Real now Trinco, Linares takes a touch, has a strike, and just way to the target with that shot. Beautifully disguised ball. And Trinco through to Linares, back to Trinco, and 2-0. Two two Brilliant stuff from uh, the it's two going their way. players two nil. And it's well, through it to Linares. And in a position and there it to is. make it Another goal. three. And surely there's no way back from this now. No. Three, no, three. three. Well, the ball is moving three. again. Three, three. Oh, that so pass easy three. on the eye. Udegaard through and Onana. They have to keep it at three. <laughs> no. Oh, incredible save. And, and corner, he it's in. And Firmino heads it. Unana and the keeper taps it over confidence. his bar. Yeah, doing his job. He might and profit from here, you know. going through. It has to be passes surely. across to Linares. Four now, Linares hat trick. Like this guy is way too good. Like his um, positioning is just superb. Can he take the chance? It's hat five. That's a fifth, a fourth oh, for him. Barry Beneath an avalanche of goals. Four no, for Linares. Teammate available. And Linares. Can he finish this? And he thought. He and thinks. You know what? Today. You know what? This He's time I'll just it. pass it Joy off. Let someone else score. <laughs> and it's six. It's a massively it chance six. here. I don't remember when we get smashed well, for one off Real in the cup final. And calamity defence there. But will it be falls to Rodrigo. Six one. Get him in one. Copa del Rey. Our first Copa del Rey final. We get smashed off. Real Madrid 4-1. Yeah, that was a defensive calamity from Firpo and uh, Alenia. <laughs> Six one. What, what more do I need to say? Let's head to the final game of this episode <laughs> and final game of the Champions League group stage against Inter in Italy. We're both through, but again, this is just to see who finishes top of the group. We finished top of the group in the last four seasons, I think. So now, let's go and finish top of this group and be group leaders once again. Let's get right into it. Of the Champions League group stage, away turn to Milan here. Let's see how we do. We have Fatih on the left hand side, running forward, back. cutting and back and continue no against one of his former today. clubs. It's 1-0 no Barca. One nil, you know, we, we've not faced, actually I don't think, I think we've only Don't faced one Leiber. English team. I was going to say we haven't faced other people, we've only faced one English team. And uh, there's a chance for Calvert-Lewin. One each. One um, this and match. I think it's Mante. I don't know if we've faced another the man, man you, Chelsea, Arsenal, calm. Spurs. And here's Linares. Through. And here's Linares. Two. Two one. Barca. And Trincao. And Linares. And Coutinho again. No makes it 3 1. The little Brazilian magician is back to his best. On and on he goes. I think maybe even better than we were at the Maybe. And uh, Linares finds the yard. The gets bigger. And it's Surely they can't four let this one. slip now. To Barca. 4 1. Uh, yeah. Haven't played any English teams apart from Mansay. Good. So we went for 1. Let's head over to January before Super Copa and that's another episode done and let's have a look at the progress of season 5 so La Liga we are top of the table 11 points card Jesus Christ we were, we were just one game off of unbeaten so far man seriously just utter domination from us in the league we're too good we are too good uh, Super Coppa, there is Copa del Rey, there is pre season, we won the trophy. Super Cup, two trophies. We're going for five, six, six. We're going for, f well, I don't know what. Uh, the group, let's see who I went through. So Porto Man City went through, Bayern Leon, Liverpool Spartak Moscow. 
Boss Hunter, Spurs Benfica, PSG Juventus. Thank fuck, man, we didn't get Juventus. Uh, Real Chelsea, Atletico Dortmund, and the tie: Spartak Real, UV Liverpool. Thank God. Benfica and Barca, Chelsea, PSG, Leon, Porto, City Atletico, Inter Bayern, Dortmund, Spurs. We got Benfica. Thank f fuck. Thank God we never got Juventus. Right, and Europa League, uh, AC Mode, Leipzig, Luzern, over Marseille, Jesus Christ. Fiorentina, Berlin. Gladbach, Copenhagen, Nice, Zagreb, Leicester, Sevilla, Napoli, Salzburg, and Electronic. Oh, Rangers were just one point away from over from being above Monaco, man. Ah, oh. Sporting, Valencia, Hibs were there. They were there. Sociedad, Montpellier, United, Panthers, Nikos, Arsenal, Standard Liège. Hmm. Eh, uh, and there's the ties. I'm not going to read them all out. I can't be bothered doing that. So, you want to see your team? Just stop the video. Or you can look very quickly. Uh, so, yes, that is season... Uh, season... Uh, episode 9. Se Hello! Episode 9. First half of the season. Of the final season. Next episode will be the final episode of the Barca career mode. So until then, I will see you guys later.